What is a pollen bomb? Does it make hay fever symptoms worse and how has UK weather created it? A pollen bomb is about to cause misery for millions of hay fever sufferers across the UK. Warm weather has seen Brits basking in glorious 25C temperatures but it is also causing a huge surge in pollen levels. We reveal all. According to the new scientist, plants need a period of cold then warm weather before they can flower. But because of the long winter, Plants that cooled and hash x27 semicolon t flower earlier in the spring are more likely to do so all at once. The term is known as a condensed spring because it is far shorter than normal. This causes more pollen to be produced, causing misery for hay fever sufferers. Tree pollen is likely to be worse, which affects one in four Brits. Sadly it does, with the Met Office issuing a warning on June 6 for high levels of pollen across mid and south England, and all of Wales. This wave of pollen bombs is set to last for three weeks. There is a high tree pollen count, with grass and weed becoming higher later in the year. Sufferers will experience cold-like symptoms, such as itchy eyes and a runny nose, but the threat could be more serious. Half of Brits plagued by hay fever could experience deadly asthma attacks triggered by the pollen. Hay fever and asthma are closely linked, with around 80% of people with asthma finding their symptoms are made worse when pollen counts are high. You can check pollen levels on the Met Office website. Sonia Mund, nurse manager at Asthma UK, said anyone who has both asthma and hay fever should ensure they are taking antihistamines and nasal steroid sprays and ensure they take their preventer inhaler as prescribed to ward off an attack. She added, pollen is a top trigger for asthma attacks at this time of the year, affecting an estimated 3.3 million people with asthma in the UK. People with asthma who also have a pollen allergy not only experience classic hay fever symptoms such as itchy eyes and a running nose, but are also at an increased risk of a life-threatening asthma attack. Holly Shaw nurse advisor at Allergy UK, urged people to stock up on antihistamines to help manage their symptoms. Typically the hay fever season starts in mid-March, with tree pollen blooming until May. But this year, the beast from the east blasted the country with icy weather, delaying spring. And because winter was longer and spring came in late, more pollen is produced. Allergy expert Max Weisberg warned, when the tree pollen season is delayed, more trees are likely to release their pollen at the same time, creating a time bomb waiting to explode. Peaks of tree pollen could be higher than normal. The recent cold wintry weather provided the optimum conditions for this to happen.